Clever Kids, it's me, Kylan, and today we are going to be looking at doubles. Now, doubles can be used on a 10 frame because you can easily see the numbers. Let's look at doubling a single digit. Now, you have done add one, add two, add three, but what about add four? Let's have a look. Now, if we do double four, you can see here, four, and if we add another four on our 10 frame, so it's easy and clear to see, you can just look at that number, and what is it? Eight, and we can easily see it here, because you've got two less in the 10. <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? You have a great visual memory. Now, sometimes the numbers go beyond 10, and it can be a little bit trickier. Make sure you use your 10 frame to help you. Let's look at double seven. We put out the first number, so here it is, seven. Hmm, we know it's going to have to go to our tens column as well. So move the five across, Here you can see five and two equals seven. Now we need to add seven. So we know that it's five, so we fill up our first 10 frame, and we know that it adds two. Now use that great visual memory and have a look. Here we have one group of 10, so we put a one in our tens column. And here, you can see that there are, yeah, four. So double seven equals 14. You didn't need to count in your head. You didn't need to use your fingers because we don't do that. You can see it clearly. So grab your 10 frame and let's do doubles. 